What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Okay, so it has come to my attention that in this game, which is a hack game, uh, your traded Pokemon don't evolve the traditional way, which is being traded to another trainer. Uh, apparently, you can actually evolve these trade Pokemon through stones, so that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to demonstrate you. Uh, how to evolve them and if you guys noticed yeah I bought 10 of each stone uh, you can actually buy them in separate locations which I will cover later on in a future episode right here but you can buy uh, some stones from different nerd people and they will actually you know it just, it'll just come easy for you guys now what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna be using a moonstone because apparently you can use a moonstone to evolve both a Kadabra and a Haunter into their final evolutionary so that's what I'm gonna show right here as you can see, you give him the, the Moonstone, and then bam, it's evolving. So, yeah, that, that, that right there was like a, a that, that right there was big news for me because it was like I, again, I started this game blindly, and I'm continuing to play this game blindly and all that stuff. I I, I was surprised that you could use Moonstone to evolve both uh, Kadabra and out and and uh, and Haunter. So there you go, that's one, and I already have a Gengar because I've, you know, captured it over in Lavender Town. And, uh, as you can see, bam, Moonstone. Now, there are other Pokemon out there that you can actually evolve through Moonstones and Sunstones. I got word that you can actually evolve, you can actually evolve Slowpoke with a Sunstone, which I did do, I did capture Slowpoke, and then I, I saw somewhere that if you level up a uh well if you level up a uh what was it called a an onyx up to level 35 it will evolve into steelix which i did off screen i never thought it was actually like you know for real for real and well there it is uh so what i'm gonna do is uh actually i'm just gonna store the other gengar back at back box too because i already have new smoke with me and well let's go ahead and try this out right here uh, as you can see, I got Onyx right here. I will, I will show you guys later on, but there is the Steelix that I had early on right here. There's quite a few Pokemon that you can evolve with the stone, evolutionary stones, and it's 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 quite surprising, guys. So, let's see, uh, Sunstone. I did buy an extra five uh, Sunstones over at the uh, the lighthouse up in uh, Olivine City. So if you use that, go it, go right ahead on the Slowpoke right here, and then. Bam, you're evolving them. I think you can also evolve a Poliwag, oh no, a Poliwhirl with a Sunstone to Politoed. So I kind of have that on my eyes right there. So there you go, guys. Uh, first three evolutionary stones being used. And look at that, uh, a Slow King. I always, like, I actually thought this was like a, well, again, this is not a traditional a traditional Pokemon game. This is a hack game, so anything can happen right here. And well, uh, let's see. I think it was. Hold on. Let me see who posted that up. Let's see. Hold on. Who in the hell sent me that message? <laughs> I'm looking at my, one of my videos right now. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Just a sec. Uh, God dang it! I hate these advertisements. Ah, the Rat Racer, or, yeah, the Rat Racer 1994, he's the one that actually uh, told me about this, so thank you once again, buddy, for the help, as always, as, especially with commenting on all of my videos, too, so thank you once again for helping me out right here, and, well, let's see, um, who am I missing right here? So, I got all my Pokemon, oh yeah, off screen too, I evolved most of my Pokemon, I got most of the Pokemon that I used uh, in previous games, such as, you know, Executumon and all that stuff, and, let's see, who was the other Pokemon that I was going to use right here, so, you know what, I got Gengar right here, yeah. Okay, so, now, we're going to be going straight to, I guess, Vermilion City, because we need to wake up a Pokemon, and we need to do... We need to get some shit done, so let's go right ahead and fly all the way out to Vermilion City. Alrighty. Look at that. Latios acting all tough and everything. Okay, so here we are, Vermilion City, and uh, just, uh, well, let's see, I'm just making sure. I am just making sure. I'm going to kick your ass later, okay? Just remember that. I'm going to kick your ass later. Okay, so back to, back to action right here. Now... 
you are able to ca to capture a slowpoke, or not a slowpoke, but a uh, a uh, Snorlax right here. And the only way you can actually get the material, hold on, what, let's see, Snorlax is snorling peacefully, you want to, yeah. If you use the, you, the only way you can get the Poketar is by getting it through the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, radio station manager in Johto, after giving them a package from the Kanto manager. And this clearly sounds like a freaking Pokeflu, it really does. Okay, so you woke up and it's at a grumpy rage. Okay, so look at that. Oh my god, so there it is, Snorlax at level 50. And of course, I'm going to try and capture it somehow. This guy will be named Tank somehow. And, uh, well, okay, so it's paralyzed. Okay, so that is that. It can't fall asleep. And I do have quite a few Ultra Balls right here. Let's see. Oh yeah, off screen, yes. I've been capturing a lot of Pokemon just to fill up my Pokedex. I don't know, just for shits and giggles and all that stuff. And uh, this guy right here will not, he will not go to, or he will not be captured. And there you go. <laughs> captured it off of two Ultra Balls right there. So look at that. Snorlax, it is not satisfied, satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it's, when it is done eating, it goes promptly to sleep okay so that right there is cool and yes we are gonna nickname this Pokemon right here we're gonna be naming him tank because why not and this guy's going to box 14 where all my main Pokemon are at and this guy's gone and here we are in the Diglett's cave kind of expecting a surprise right here a bunch of Diglett popped out of the ground that it was shocking okay so yeah this is named Diglett cave and I'm going to be using a Max Repel because, no, I do not want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. So, alright, Max Repel it works, and we're going to be running all the way through right here. Look at that. Nothing. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, there's a little added uh, feature right here where you can actually rock climb and find a few rare items, I believe. Could be wrong. We'll eventually find out because I did announce a few episodes ago that I will be coming out with a Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough as soon as 7,000 uh, 7, subscribers come out and uh, well, hopefully that will be soon right here. So here we are, Route 2, and this is a... Uh, ah, crud. I think I came in unprepared. I think. Uh, okay, so here we go. Found ourselves a Carbos. And, well... Let's go ahead and check out these houses. Ah, crud. I didn't bring a Pokemon with, uh... Let's see. Wow, I'm glad to see you. You're the first visitor I had in a long time. I'm super happy. Let me give you a little present, and we get ourselves a nugget. Okay, so that's always nice. And, uh, okay, so... That will have to do... Okay, so I do... Ah, crap, baskets. Okay, so I'm gonna have to fly back and get myself a, a Pokemon that knows, uh... Yeah, Pokemon that knows what you call it. Yeah, a Pokemon that knows cut because I completely forgot about that. Okay, so let's go back. Jesus. Okay, I, I want to get this game done so badly that I completely forget about other stuff. Now, let's see. Let's get one of these other Pokemon right here. Let's see. Now, I did mention that uh, in the last few episodes too that around this time you're, you're supposed to have a nice team going because. These Pokemon teams are going to get stronger and stronger eventually, and that's exactly what I did in the la like off screen. I just you know prepared, got all my Pokemon prepared, just so I could have any team out there. Of course, some uh, a lot of these Pokemon include uh, Pokemon that I've had in previous walkthroughs, such as Leaf Green, uh, Soul Sil no, not Soul Silver, but Leaf Green Crystal and all that stuff. Of course, this right here that we're playing is technically Generation Three, so. That right there should be good. And I'm trying to get the heck out of here, so look at that. There we go. And here we are, Route 2. Okay, so let's go right ahead and check out a few things. So here we are, Vileplume using its thing, and found ourselves a dire hit, which is nice. And let's see, going downstairs right here. Talk to this guy, and he's like, Are you Draven? I work as Professor Oak's aide. I had no idea that you were out here. Professor Oak's lab is nearby Pallettown. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so we're close to Pallet. 
but we're here to just grab a few items and then go straight to Pewter because that is the first thing to go. I believe we also have to go to uh, Mount Moon and all that stuff. We got plenty of stuff to do here, guys, so stay put. Let's see. There we go, and well, let's go right ahead and continue on this whole thing right here. So cut this thing and let's see. Ah, crud, I, I, I did put that squirrel at the PC. Okay, whatever. I'm going to pass that guy by. And let's see. At night, Clefairy come out and play at Mount Moon. Not even, not every night, though. Okay. Here we are in Pewter City. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to be switching out Pokemon. Because there is a Pokemon gym battle that we're going to. And, oh, wow. <laughs> I had a Haunter and you wanted a Zatu. Oh, my God. Oh, never mind. I'm not. I, I, I give up. Never mind. Okay, so let's just go ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. All right, let's go with uh, this guy right here, and let's bring back uh, Squirtle because we kind of want to level him up, get him all ready for when we battle. Uh, what was his name? What's his name? Uh, Gary or something. Let's see. Uh, another Pokemon that might have to sit out right here. Yeah, you know what? Godzilla's gonna have to sit out. Because I'm going to bring in the big guns. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so I captured another Gyarados and named it Hydra 1. So I'm going to bring back Hydra 2 right here. Level 62 and all that fun stuff. And, well, let's Pokemon get drowsy. I am not going to talk to you because, yeah. And Sinvar is gone. It was really amazed. Yes, I'm on the phone. Go away. Oh, damn. So something bad has happened. We still have a rumble to go to, so that's one, and let's go right ahead and take a small tour of this whole place right here, and, well, if you talk to this guy, he likes snoozing on the radio, that's good. For many of you guys who don't know, Pewter City is the first town, or first city, that you actually get to visit when you're in Pokemon Leaf Green, Fire Red, Red, Blue, and Yellow, that kind of stuff, and, well, let's see... There is somebody here that should be giving you a special item. There he is, I think. I'm only assuming. And, ah, you came all this way out from here from Johto. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me so much of what I was like as a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. And we get ourselves the Silver Wing, which, of course, uh, brings out uh, Lugia. And we still have to go capture Lugia, too. God dang. And... Yeah, he's uh, the Pokemon pet lover and all that stuff. So, let's see. I, I definitely like the way how they made this place. It definitely, like, it, it definitely comes from, like, it, it, it definitely fills up the theme of what Pewter City should be. And, uh, let's see. All I ever wanted was to feel the power of being the greatest Pokemon trainer. Well, that never happened because I couldn't even train my first Pokemon. Still, I have it. Your Pokemon trainer, right? Surely you could train it? Oh my god! Okay, so... Yeah, I think I know which Pokemon that is. Okay, so we're gonna go back there pretty soon, and I'm pretty sure there's, a, there's an item right here somewhere. No. Okay, so the museum's right here. That doesn't serve us any well, and... Let's see. Yeah, it is completely closed. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and try and get that Bulbasaur too. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are the H-E double hockey sticks are? Okay, so let's go right here. All right, let's deposit. You know what? Let's deposit Ultra Psycho. Don't really need them right now. And, yeah, let's continue on right here. And go ahead and grab that Bulbasaur right here. So I'm going to go super speed on everybody's ass. Oh, why? Okay, so I, uh, you see, that's the example of working harder than smarter. And here we go. Go ahead and talk to this guy right here. And yes, we got ourselves a Bulbasaur. So we're going to be treating him well. And let's go ahead and take a look at our new Bulbasaur right here. So look at that. Level 5 Bulbasaur and Squirtle. And eventually we're going to nickname this Pokemon Dubasaur. And let's see. Yeah, the typical, typical moves and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go right ahead and start battling some trainers. Let's see, you know what? I do have a good team, but it is missing someone. Yeah, nah, screw it. Let's just go ahead and uh, 
hell? I'm just getting a, I'm getting a tweet here. Okay, never mind. Okay, so let's go right ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers. Okay, so as many of you guys already know, Brock is a Rock-type gym leader, and you're really rocking gym leaders with the Rocker, yada yada yada. Okay, so we're gonna be switch training Pokemon right here. Since uh, Squirtle already has the experience here, we're gonna be switch training Bulbasaur and Squirtle. So let's go right ahead. The trainers of this gym use Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type has a high defense. Battles could end up going a long time. Are you ready for this? Sure, why not? Let's go. I'm flexing my muscles right now. Here we have Short Shorts Muse, and he's coming out with a Sand Slash. Level 63. Good God. Okay, so let's go with our level 74 for Alligator right here. And let's speed battle this whole thing. Yeah, we're gonna get Fierce Fights, but here comes the Surf. And that's how you do it. Look at that. Bulbasaur is now gonna be growing a buttload of levels. Look at that. Leech Seed. So we might have double evolution right here. Because remember when we had uh, Charmander? Koga. Grew about like 20 levels. That was freaking awesome right there. Look at that. By a whip. Look at that. Oh yeah. I, dev I, I love growing my Pokemon level. Look at that. Oh my god. And he's trying to learn Poison Powder. So let's go right ahead and switch it out with Growl. And we're gonna do that. Okay, and it's trying to learn Sleep Powder. Do that, of course. And there we go, level 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Razor Leaf. Let's go right ahead and take away Poison Powder. There we go, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good God! 26! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Squirtle's growing levels like crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go tail whip. Here we go. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Bite attack. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Rapid spin. Here we go. 24, 25, 26. Okay, so they both grow to... Uh, Good amount of levels right there. Okay. <laughs> Double evolution on the starter Pokemon. I really do love doing that. Okay, so now, if you guys are wondering what my goal is here, eh, I have no goal. It's just to complete this walkthrough. I really have no desire in, you know, go like doing it like the intricate stuff and like, you know, the secrets of this whole place and all that stuff. Um, I just want to play it and then just raid it for you guys. Right now, I'm getting a very, very good impression of this game because, wow, every single time when you think you know something, nope, something else pops up and it's just, it just twists the, narr the, the narrative right here. So, that right there is my favorite part about this game. And, well, as you can see, we got ourselves a, score, a war turtle. Alright, let's go ahead and battle Brock. Wow, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the Pewter City Gym Leader and expert on Rock-type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on! So here it is, guys. Battle number 14 against Brock. And he's looking all homely and all that stuff, and he's coming out with his Graveler. Oh, God, my Pokemon are going to grow levels here. Holy crap. Okay, so we're going to be switching it out right here. And here we go. Rock slide. Here comes the surf. Look at that. And War Turtle, of course. Okay, so we're going to be switch battling right here because I want both Pokemon to be strong by the time we get to uh, to the final battle. So here comes a Giga Drain. Doesn't really work. So here comes a Hypnosis. You're asleep. Eat this Dream Eater. Look at that. Dream Eater. Oh, Giga Drain, and here comes the Shadow Ball. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so I'm liking this. Level 29, Sweet Scent. No, I'm not gonna learn it. And let's see. Okay, so we're gonna be going straight back to Ivysaur. And let's see. Uh, Latios. Not that effective, so here we go. Luster Purge. And Spike Cannons, of course. 
So here we go, psychic attack, finish him off. Yeah, buddy. Onyx is coming, and I'm surprised that he still hasn't evolved his Onyx. <laughs> now that you can, and what the hell am I doing? Okay, so let's see, who has an egg? Okay, so here we go, let's go Hydra 2, shiny as always, and Hydro Bone. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's go Ivysaur. And let's go back to Irwin. Oh my god. Okay, so here we go. Surf attack. There we go. 31. 31. It's learning protect, so I'm not going to teach you anything. And look at that. Your Pokemon attacks overcame my wrong card defense. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. Holy crap. Okay, so look at that, guys. Throwing out the peace sign. We rushed it, but hey, we got our 14th badge right here. Kicking ass, taking names, and thanks. I enjoyed battling you, even though I was a bit—I am a bit upset. That boulder badge will make your Pokémon even more powerful. The world is huge. There are still many strong trainers like you. Just wait and see. I'm going to become a lot stronger too. Okay, so that is that. And well, you can call both Squir uh, Ivysaur and and War Turtle twins because they. They both have the same kinds of experience points right here, so let me just switch them out right here. Okay, so both of them, look at that. Same kind of experience points. I am going to keep them on my team, and we're going to be exploring Mount Moon, and after that, you know, just complete the whole freaking game. I'm going to try and evolve these guys as quickly as possible, that way you know, we can get really serious about this whole game right here, too, so... It's like, what, Draven, you're not that serious right now? Nope, not really. Alright, guys, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.